Microsoft has made a bold and potentially disruptive move in the AI industry. Despite investing over 13 billion in OpenAI, reports now confirm that Microsoft has been secretly developing its own AI models known as MAI. Microsoft Artificial Intelligence. These models are designed to compete directly with OpenAI's GPT-4 and Anthropic's Claude, signaling a significant shift in Microsoft's AI strategy. This development raises questions about Microsoft's future reliance on OpenAI and how this move could reshape the entire AI landscape. In this analysis, we'll explore why Microsoft is quietly shifting away from OpenAI, what its new AI models can do, and the potential implications for the AI industry. What are Microsoft's MI models? Microsoft's MI models are still shrouded in secrecy but early reports suggest they could be a game changer in the AI space. The name MAI stands for Microsoft Artificial Intelligence, and it is likely linked to Maya 100, Microsoft's AI Accelerator chip launched in 2024. This chip is designed to power advanced AI models, making it a key component of Microsoft's broader AI strategy. While Microsoft has not yet publicly released these models, internal reports indicate that MAI has already been tested for integration into Copilot, Microsoft 365, and other Microsoft products. Early benchmarks suggest that MAI can compete directly with OpenAI's GPT-4 and Anthropic's Claude, positioning Microsoft as a serious competitor in the AI space. MAI is not just a single model, but an entire family of models. Microsoft is reportedly developing two distinct AI series, general purpose models like GPT-4, capable of handling tasks like text generation, summarization, and code writing. Reasoning optimized models designed for complex problem solving, AI-assisted decision-making, and multimodal understanding. One of the biggest questions is whether MAI models are multimodal, meaning they can process both text and images like OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo. If Microsoft achieves multimodal capabilities at a lower cost and with better efficiency, it could disrupt the AI landscape by offering businesses and developers a cheaper, more powerful alternative to OpenAI's models. Why is Microsoft moving away from OpenAI? Microsoft's decision to develop its own AI models is not just about innovation. It's about power and control. For years, Microsoft bet big on OpenAI, integrating GPT models into Bing, Windows, and Copilot. However, the company is now quietly hedging its bets by developing its own MAI models. This signals a major shift in Microsoft's AI strategy, moving away from exclusive reliance on OpenAI. There are three key reasons driving this change. OpenAI's growing independence. Until recently, Microsoft was OpenAI's exclusive cloud provider. However, in January 2025, OpenAI renegotiated its deal, securing the right to move workloads to Google Cloud and AWS. This weakened Microsoft's grip on OpenAI's operations and made OpenAI less dependent on Microsoft's infrastructure. High costs of OpenAI models running GPT-4 across Microsoft's products, including Copilot and Microsoft 365, requires enormous cloud infrastructure costs. By developing its own AI models and pairing them with its Maya AI chips, Microsoft could significantly reduce costs, making its AI services more efficient and scalable. Reducing reliance on a single company. The AI industry is evolving rapidly, and Microsoft does not want to rely solely on OpenAI. Microsoft's broader AI expansion Microsoft strategy goes goes beyond just competing with OpenAI. The company is building an entire AI ecosystem from the ground up. In addition to MAI, Microsoft has been developing another AI model series called Phi. This signals a broader strategy that involves not just replacing OpenAI's models, but creating a diverse portfolio of AI solutions. The Phi models are designed to be smaller, faster, and more power efficient than massive language models like GPT-4. For example, Phi Mini, launched in February 2025, has only 3.8 billion parameters but can perform certain reasoning tasks nearly as well as GPT-4. This makes it a lightweight, yet highly capable alternative, ideal for enterprise applications that don't require massive computational power. Microsoft is also experimenting with synthetic data training methods, allowing it to create smaller yet highly optimized models that can be fine-tuned for specific business applications. This approach makes Phi particularly appealing for enterprise AI solutions, where efficiency and cost-effectiveness matter. The potential impact on OpenAI. If Microsoft continues to develop and deploy its own AI models, it could have significant implications for OpenAI. The first major shift would be an AI industry shakeup. If OpenAI loses its biggest backer, it would have to rely more heavily on its cloud deals with Google and AWS. While this could give OpenAI more independence, has also come with an iconic industry shaping partnership that we have been involved in. And in this age and in this era, it's the partnership between Microsoft and OpenAI. We love everything about OpenAI, what they stand for. Think about it, right? It's a non-profit entity that then has a per-profit capped entity. 
right? It's a profit capital entity that we are deeply partnered with. It could also weaken its market position as Microsoft controls a massive share of enterprise AI contracts. If Microsoft transitions its customers to MAI-powered services, OpenAI could see a decline in corporate adoption, affecting its revenue and long-term sustainability. Another key impact would be pricing. OpenAI's GPT-4 models are among the most expensive to run, making them a costly choice for businesses. If Microsoft launches MAI at a lower cost, it could spark an AI price war, forcing OpenAI to cut prices to stay competitive. This could ultimately benefit end users but would intensify competition between AI providers, making it harder for OpenAI to maintain its premium pricing model. And they care deeply about AI safety. They care about their mission. And all of that shows through in all the innovation that we have sort of been able to bring forth to date. Now, today I'm also thrilled to take what we've been doing with OpenAI and expand it to the next phase. The regional expansion of OpenAI uh, APIs. Uh, we've now got more uh, regional uh, expansion in North America, in Europe, and for the first time, we're going to be able to... The future of Copilot and Microsoft's AI ecosystem. One of the most significant questions is what happens to Copilot, Microsoft's AI-powered assistant currently powered by OpenAI's GPT-4. Internal reports suggest Microsoft is testing MAI as a full replacement for GPT-4 in Copilot. If this happens, it would be the clearest sign. Yet that Microsoft is moving toward AI independence, cutting OpenAI out of its most valuable software products. Copilot is a core feature of Microsoft's enterprise tools, and shifting to MAI would signal that OpenAI's models are no longer essential to Microsoft's AI strategy. However, OpenAI is not going down without a fight. Despite Microsoft's vast resources, OpenAI still has a massive brand advantage. Millions of people associate AI with ChatGPT, not Microsoft. OpenAI also maintains a strong foothold in consumer AI adoption meaning it could double down on personal AI assistants and developer tools to remain dominant in the space. Additionally, OpenAI is already working on GPT-5, rumored to be significantly more powerful than GPT-4. If GPT-5 delivers a major leap in capabilities, efficiency, and reasoning, OpenAI could maintain its edge even as Microsoft builds out its own models. Could quickly turn into a fierce competition. The real battle is not just about technology, but also about perception. Will Microsoft's MAI models be strong enough to compete with OpenAI AI's next generation AI? And if they are, will Microsoft completely cut ties with OpenAI? Or will both companies continue working together while secretly competing in the background? The AI wars are heating up, and this could be just the beginning. As Microsoft builds out its own AI ecosystem, the industry could see a shift in power dynamics, with Microsoft positioning itself as a dominant player in both enterprise and consumer AI. Meanwhile, OpenAI will need to innovate aggressively to maintain its leadership position. Microsoft's development of its own AI models marks a pivotal moment in the AI industry. By creating MAI and Phi, Microsoft is reducing its reliance on OpenAI and positioning itself as a direct competitor in the AI space. This move could lead to significant changes in the industry from pricing wars to shifts in market dominance. As the AI landscape continues to evolve, the competition between Microsoft, OpenAI, and other AI providers will drive innovation and push the boundaries of what AI can achieve. Whether Microsoft's May models will surpass OpenAI's offerings remains to be seen, but one thing is clear. The AI wars are just getting started and the stakes have never been higher. What are your thoughts on Microsoft's move? Do you think MAI will outperform OpenAI's models? Or will OpenAI maintain its edge with GPT-5? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the latest developments in technology and AI. For more insights into the world of technology and innovation, visit judifmarketing.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.